Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that many of you have been asking about. Seven ways nice guys lose respect in relationships. But sometimes, even with the best intentions, we can unknowingly send signals that undermine the respect we deserve in a relationship. Don't worry, we've got you covered. We're about to break down those subtle ways nice guys might be inadvertently throwing respect out the window. Let's get straight to the point. First up, being too available. We get it, you're smitten. Like a puppy waiting for a treat, you're eager to shower your partner with attention. But here's the thing, constantly being at her beck and call can backfire. When you drop everything to be available 24 seven, it can create an imbalance. It's like saying, my needs, my schedule, my interests all come second to yours. Remember, you have a life too. Don't be afraid to prioritize your commitments, hobbies, and friends. Trust me, a little bit of mystery and independence goes a long way. Next up, avoiding conflict. Now, nobody enjoys a good argument, right? It's uncomfortable and can be emotionally draining. It's way more fun to binge watch your favorite show with a bowl of popcorn than to hash out disagreements. But avoiding conflict isn't a long-term solution. But guess what? Sweeping issues under the rug like a messy pile of laundry is not the answer. Ignoring problems doesn't make them disappear, it just makes them grow. Look, disagreements are a natural part of any relationship. They are inevitable and can actually be healthy if handled correctly. Bottling up your feelings might seem like the nice thing to do, but it can lead to resentment and frustration building up like a pressure cooker ready to explode. This can cause more harm than good in the long run. Instead of biting your tongue, learn to communicate your thoughts and feelings openly and respectfully. Open communication is the key to resolving conflicts and understanding each other better. Think of it like this. You wouldn't ignore a leaky faucet in your house, right? Ignoring it would only lead to bigger problems down the line. You'd fix it before it caused major damage. The same goes for conflicts in your relationship. Address those little leaks of disagreement before they become a relationship flood. Tackle issues head on and work together to find solutions. So, speak your mind, my friend. Don't be afraid to express your feelings and thoughts. It's a sign of strength, not weakness and it shows you're invested in building a healthy and honest relationship. Remember, a strong relationship is built on trust, communication, and mutual respect. Over complimenting. Now, who doesn't love a good compliment? It's like receiving a warm, fuzzy hug for your soul. But hold on there, Casanova, because there can be too much of a good thing. Constantly showering your partner with compliments, especially ones that seem insincere or over the top, can actually have the opposite effect. Genuine compliments are like rare gems. They hold more value when they're thoughtful and infrequent. Instead of showering her with generic praise, focus on specific qualities you admire. Instead of, you're so beautiful, try, your laugh is contagious, it always brightens my day. So ditch the cheesy pickup lines and focus on genuine appreciation. It's like finding the perfect amount of sugar for those cookies, just the right amount of sweetness to make it irresistible. A lack of ambition. Now, we're not saying you need to be the next Elon Musk shooting for the stars, literally. But having goals, aspirations, and a sense of purpose is incredibly attractive. When you're passionate about something, whether it's your career, a hobby, or a personal goal, it lights you up from the inside out. So dust off those dreams, set some goals, and show the world and your partner what you're made of. Remember, a man with a plan is a man with a purpose. And that's a recipe for success both in love and in life. Not setting boundaries can lead to confusion and frustration. Remember playing with Play-Doh as a kid? It was so much fun. You could mold it into anything you wanted. The possibilities were endless. But without those little plastic molds, it just became a big undefined blob, losing its potential. Relationships are kind of like that too. They need structure to thrive. Boundaries are like those Play-Doh molds. They provide structure and definition, giving shape to our interactions. They help us understand what's acceptable and what's not, creating a space of mutual respect and understanding. This clarity is essential. When you don't set boundaries, it's easy to fall into the trap of people-pleasing, which can lead to resentment. Setting boundaries is not about being mean or controlling. It's about communicating your needs and expectations clearly and respectfully. So don't be afraid to speak up. Your voice matters. Establish those boundaries like the strong, independent man you are. It's a sign of self-respect. It's like giving your relationship a sturdy foundation to build upon, making it stronger and healthier in the long run. Boundaries are the key to lasting happiness. Being too predictable. Now, there's something to be said for consistency and reliability in a relationship, 
but when you're stuck in a rut, doing the same things day in and day out, it can start to feel like watching a rerun of a show you've already seen a hundred times. Relationships thrive on excitement, novelty, and a little bit of mystery. So go ahead, be spontaneous, be adventurous, and remind her why she fell for you in the first place. Lastly, neglecting self-care can have serious consequences. We get it, you're busy juggling work, relationships, and maybe even a few hobbies on the side. Life can be hectic, and it's easy to put yourself last on the list. But taking care of yourself isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. It's about maintaining your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Think about it, you wouldn't expect a car to run smoothly without regular maintenance, right? Just like a car needs oil changes and tune-ups, your body and mind need regular care. Well, your body and mind are the same way. They need attention and care to function at their best. Neglecting self-care sends a message that you don't value yourself, and if you don't value yourself, how can you expect others to? Self-care is a form of self-respect, so make time for yourself, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. Small, consistent actions can make a big difference. Taking care of yourself shows that you prioritize your well-being, and that's a sign of strength and self-respect. It empowers you to handle life's challenges more effectively. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. You need to replenish your own energy and resources. Fill yourself up first, and you'll have so much more to give to your relationships and the people you care about. Self-care benefits not just you, but everyone around you. Thanks for watching. Remember, being a nice guy is awesome, but it's all about finding that balance between kindness and self-respect. By implementing these tips, you'll be well on your way to building a healthy, fulfilling relationship where you feel valued and appreciated.